in, in many ways, today is a, it's a sad day in Bachelorland. My favorite, most provocative character, Queen Victoria, did not receive a rose. So it, since it's her last episode, I'm going to spend some time here. I'm going to try and diagnose her. I'll give you kind of my overview of how I would see her clinically. But first, let me give kind of an overview of what happened in the episode. So at the end of week five, Katie, or sorry, the end of week four, Katie goes outside and tells Matt, hey, uh, there's bullying going on inside. It's a caustic environment. You have to do something. So as you can imagine, Matt takes a, a stand against bullying, shocker for everybody, goes in and says, look, I don't tolerate it. If you're bullying, you got to go home. I don't want to marry a bully, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. And he like quickly dispatches of Anna. She's gone. I mean, we didn't wait for the rose ceremony, just sends her home. And then he goes, I want to have the rose ceremony pretty quickly. And so all of a sudden you see Queen Victoria getting pretty nervous and she's sort of going around being like, I don't know who said anything. I'm obviously a value add here culturally. Everybody likes me. I meant for him. I'm the queen. He's the king. And like sort of ramps herself up. Um, and then as things get closer and closer, things progress closer and closer and she has a conversation with Matt, she realizes that her head is probably on the chopping block. And you see Queen Victoria just totally derail. Like she she decompensates. She has to go off camera. She goes in the bathroom crying. She's like sort of can't, she cannot um, control her emotions at that moment. And then she doesn't get a rose. She goes home. And I would say the rest of the show sort of rolls out like a typical Bachelor episode. There's a, a couple, there's a, there's a big group date where Matt says, you know, the best way for me to get to know you is to, you know, or you, you, you learn about people in hard times. So I'm going to have you shovel pig crap around and we're going to watch you. And that's how I'm going to know, you know, like who's the one for me. So they have the pig date and it goes, you know, kind of standard fare. And then there's two one-on-one -on -one dates. One is with Rachel, which goes really well. And I mean, really well, not only from the standpoint of Matt creating a good relationship with her or connection or whatever, but he goes and buys her just a a ton of clothes and fancy shoes and all like she comes back to the house and she's like just carrying I, I mean it looks like thousands of dollars worth of crap and then the second date not quite as remarkable he takes kit out to his house and they make a home-cooked meal and i was thinking kit was of course she's excited about it and loves matt and they're both falling in love with matt but, but I was thinking, if I were Kit and I just saw Rachel walk in with just a pile of new clothes and then I get a home-cooked meal, I would be outraged. But she doesn't, she doesn't complain. She's happy. That's all fine. So standard fare. At the very end of the show, it comes out that there's one more potential caustic player here, MJ. And Jasanya sort of says to Matt, hey, she was part of it. She used to, she said that, you know, the old, the OGs, the original girls were, or original women were uh, varsity and the new women are JV. And so there's this question, does Matt have to get rid of MJ as well? And that will be the, that heated debate will be the start of uh, week six. So anyway, pretty normal, except for the sort of blow up at the beginning. So let's talk about Victoria. She meets every diagnostic criteria for narcissism. I mean, she is certainly self-centered. She has delusions about her impact and power. She has delusions about how people view her. She, she dismisses other people. She gets outraged if she doesn't get the level of respect that she should. I mean, if you go down the DSM, she just ticks off every single one of them. But what I thought was really interesting about her and the reason why I really feel like she could get that diagnosis is she is, I don't find her to be selfish. So let me first just say, I can't officially diagnose somebody over YouTube. Obviously, I've ne never met with her. I, I have to talk about it from the standpoint of how I might respond to somebody like this, right? I just have a little snippet in time of her, but there are some strong characteristics. So in particular, when I think about narcissism, and if I ask the average person, do you know a narcissist? Everybody will say, oh yeah, yeah, my sister is, my mom is, or whatever, right? Everybody thinks they know one. But it's actually very, very rare. And the, to me, the key component of it when I've worked with folks that are diagnosed with narcissistic personality disorder is that they, they don't recognize that there are other people around them and they don't recognize what their impact is, which is very different than somebody being selfish, so selfish would be, I know you're there, I know you want to be involved in this, but but I think I'm more important than you, so I'm going to intentionally dismiss you 
and I know that I'm being hurtful, but I just don't care because I'm more important. To me, that's selfish. I'm, I'm above you. Narcissism is, I don't know that you're there. I don't know, don't know what my impact is. I don't care what my impact is. It's a, total, it's a total separation from other people. And when you see Queen Victoria separate herself, I'm better than other people, and then turn to the camera and go, I'm good for the culture here. I'm the fun one here. You know, this show's going to go downhill now that I'm not here. That kind of uh, sort of disconnect from reality, to me, is very diagnostic. And so for that reason, I would probably give her that narcissistic personality disorder diagnosis. I also want to point out the very end of the show when she didn't get the rose, how she switched on a dime from caring about Matt. He could be the one. He's my king. I'm her queen. Right to... He's a loser. I don't like him. I don't like anybody here, right? That's the narcissistic injury. That's the, I can't handle the fact that this has gone bad for me. I can't say I'm sad. What she has to do is immediately protect herself and say, you guys are all losers. So I will miss, I will miss Queen Victoria, uh, but I have a sense that there's, there's probably more drama coming along, so there will be other things to talk about. I will see you next week.